as usual, I'm waiting on Bill. It's January 29th. It's about 21 degrees outside. And I'm sitting on a frozen stump. So as soon as Bill gets here, we'll let you know what we're going to do today. Bill! Where are you? Bill! Just a squirrel. <sighs> Thought it was Sam Squanch. Alright, well, we found Bill. And uh, I brought him to a little location because... Well, I found this a week or two ago. And what we're standing on right here is an old road bed. I don't know exactly what time period it is, but it's old because it crosses a stream down here and it's got an old broke up bridge. So, what are we looking for today? Memorial sense. Memorial sense. I mean, large sense. Large sense. There's a lot of bottles scattered over here. Yeah, it looks like there's a bottle dump here at one point. Um, my buddy Bill here has not found a large scent yet, so hopefully we get on one of them today. And uh, high hopes, I'm looking for the Holy Grail, so. I'll be happy if anything's silver Hey, we'll let you know if we find anything. All right, I've been working this road bed in the hills a little bit. We pulled out a few wheat pennies each and the memorial pennies, bunch of bottle caps, and uh, got a good signal. And we have a good target in the hole, so come check it out. Gonna work under this root, and that is a button. It's got a shank on the back, it's a two piece. I haven't looked at it yet. Definitely has some stuff on there. Let me get some the dirt off, and I'll show you more. All right, we're gonna do a little cleanup here. Definitely has back marks. Still got the shank. Yeah. Oh, it's an eagle. I think it's a navel button. Nice. Eagle and anchor. I'm not gonna mess it up too much, but <laughs> that's nice. So the road bed is what panned out so far. We'll show you it all cleaned up. Civil War era navy coat button, 1860, Waterbury backmark. All right, I got a uh, interesting signal here. Nothing too crazy. I'll let you uh, hear it before I dig it. In the 70s, it bounces to 80, drops to 50. So we're gonna do a live dig. Huh? Right next to a huge tree, so there might be a stump in my way. It's more consistent now. Something in there. Right where that root is. Of course, it's right where the root is. Look at that. A nice piece of aluminum foil. It's not all treasure. Alright, so we came in up this way and found that road bed. We followed it down and it leads right to the stream. This is an old crossing here. Old stone crossing that's fallen in over the years. Right on the other side there's a huge oak tree. There's no way that thing was there when this bridge was in service. She wouldn't have been able to fit a wagon around it. But when I found this place, I dug a really interesting target right here where this rock is. And once I complete that video and find the owner to what that is, I'll post it. 
But Bill's digging a target now. Bottle cap in the road bed. The uh, bridge crossing's right down there. I worked my way up this hill. I got a 90 signal on the surface. It looks like a Zippo lighter. And it is a Zippo. I wonder how long that's been there. rusted closed but we'll take it clean it up maybe there's a design on it doesn't look like it though all right I think the uh, bridge turns there and the road comes up this way so it's got to be an old road because that's a huge tree and it's right in the middle of the road but I have a signal here in the hole right down there oh oh we have a ring. Looks like an old brass ring. So that might be period. Very cool. As I clean it up, I'll show you a little bit more. Awesome old ring. Found in an old road bed. All right, well I rubbed the ring on the side of my glove. And it looks like maybe it was silver plated at one point. I'll take it. I pulled that ring out of that hole and I was getting another signal over here so I dug down and it's a pull tab so I dig everything that was a pull tab signal and it was a ring this is a pull tab signal and it's a pull tab so you gotta dig everything to find everything all right Bill called me over what'd you find Bill? deer antler deer antler sweet oh there's another one The friendship antlers. Hopefully it's a good luck sign. One for you, one for me. One's got an extra horn on it. He's got a two for I got a one for. <laughs> there we go. It's a nice little interesting piece right there. I like that. Into a prison shade. Yeah. Call that an uptown in Baltimore. There you go. <laughs> Alright. We've uh, beat this place up pretty good. And uh, nothing too crazy. I really love that button I found. Hopefully that cleans up nice. Um, we're gonna take a lunch break and maybe try a different spot or try something new. So we'll see you then. All right, we ate lunch. We decided to find some smooth ground. These clothes get pretty heavy holding them up in the air in the woods, but you get the smooth ground, you can drag them on the ground, takes the weight off. But uh, got my, my second hole my first good target, and I see some shiny stuff in the hole. So come check it out. Two little shiny things. So it's probably broken, whatever it is. Ooh, there's a stone in there. It's it's got to be gold. It's the color of gold. It's not tarnished at all. Maybe it was a pin or something. Once I uh. Clean it up later, you'll take a look at it. But I'll take that gold. No markings, but it tested at 10 karat gold. All right, the Hoover just pinpointed this one really nice. I'm not exactly sure what it is yet, but it's still sitting in the bottom of the hole. Oh, look at that. Is that a pin or a ring or something? See, it's an old pin. That's got to be silver. That's beautiful. Maybe it's the Mother Mary. This is Holy Land. Found the Mother Mary Holy Land. Sweet. Beautiful pin, but the back reads Sterling Top. It's plated. Making our way over to Bill. So he's got a little coin. I've already seen it. It's an 1891. 1891? 1891 what? Indian head. Yeah, buddy. Pull that out of there. Huh? Is that all the deeper it was? No, well, yeah, I guess. Came out before I got the iron out. 1891 engine. 
cool beans. Yep. All right, Bill says he's got another Indian. Right next to the road. Here's the old hole. Okay. Uh huh. There's the hole next to it. Huh. Get out of there. Look how toasty it is. You can tell it's an Indian. Hold it flat on your hand. Let me see the other side. You got a date yet? No, dude, look how toasty it is. It's all deformed. Yeah, it's a little toasty. We'll let you know if we get a date. Good job, buddy. Thanks. All right. We don't get too many signals like this in this area because it's been pounded by detectorists for the last 40 years. Uh, got a high 80 signal, which is what the iron nails run around here. So we dig so many of them. But my pinpointer's down in the hole about 10 inches and there's a big round coin in the hole. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna let you guys see it. There's a pinpointer all the way at the bottom. Something round and big. So, Bill's gonna hold that. And I'm gonna go in. Take a hand. That is a coin. Oh yeah. Dude, how the hell? See if I can pop it. Oh. Oh! Oh my god! What is Dude! It? What is it? A straight bust! No it ain't. Dude! Oh my god. I have never god. found one of these facing to the right, baby. Yep. Look at that. Holy hell. You gotta see this. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please have a date. Please have a date. This is the oldest U.S. coin I've ever found. Oh my god. Dude. What are the chances? Not the chance. I don't know. Oh my god. One in a million. Check that hole, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stick the pinpointer back in there. Oh god. God, that thing don't look too bad for what we usually find. That thing is black. Yeah, but still, with detail. Alright, I've just sort of let it dry in my hands. It's been a few minutes, I'm freaking out. You start to see the one cent on the back. You flip it over. And I'm pretty sure I can read the last two digits of the date. And that's a nine and a seven. So this is 1797. US large scent and I am freaking out love it I love Lady Liberty oh my god Go ahead, man. I don't know who that is hey buddy I just found a penny from 1797 what do you think about that Oh my god. First straight bust. Oldest US coin. 1797. That guy's a butthead. He's raining on my parade. Here I am. Holding an amazing coin. From our history. From US history. The US didn't start making coins till 1793. And this coin's only. This coin's only four years after that. And I found it. It's mine. It's mine! I'm never putting it down. You used to live in there. Now you're going to live in my pocket. I love you. Alright. I was still playing with my, uh, my coin, taking pictures. Bill said he has something over here. This one's green as hell. Oh, we got a greenie. Yeah. Get it out of there. What do you got? 1897. 1897. Yep. Sweet. Does he have friends? I don't know yet. I haven't checked the whole cruise. Here. I haven't checked. Any friends? Friends. 
friends, friends, no friends. Oh. The VS friends will let you know. All right, I see a little coin in the bottom of my hole. I've already looked at it. It's an Indian head penny, and it's 1865. So that's an old one. I'll take it. It'll look really nice next to my drape bust. Alright, this is going to be my last hole. i got to go home and do some things. But, get a jumpy signal, pop the plug, and now it's hitting in the low 80s. So, i got a pinpoint in the middle of the hole. I'm going to give the camera to Bill. And we're going to play Trash or Treasure! Right in the middle. That's a funny looking coin. <laughs> it's lead. lead. Not trash or treasure. Hmm. Well, we're done for the day. Amazing day. I found a double bucket lister. And uh, we're going to go over a couple things. We separated our finds with our friendship horns, or friendship antlers. You go ahead and tell them what you found. This side's Bill's. Three 18, yeah, three Indians. Two from the 1890s, one from the 1860s. Those are the Indians. Three wheat pennies. Clad quarter, clad penny. We were a piece of lead. Honking piece of lead. <laughs> it's a nice paperweight. And a 22 caliber bullet and something else that we don't know. Alrighty. And this side would be my finds. These are the good old memorial pennies. And a zippo lighter. Part to a buckle. Don't know what this honker is. This feels like a flattened piece of lead. These are all Wheaties. This is a suspender clip. Don't know how old. Doesn't look very old. Uh, brass ring. This gold, I believe, pin came out of the hole in two pieces, but I believe it goes like that. I believe it's a pin. This here is also a pin that the back is missing, but there's a lady on there. Hopefully that's gold, and hopefully that's silver. This is the navel button I found. It does have back marks. It's a two-piece button. A 16... Ah, oh, 16. <laughs> 1865 Indian in the double bucket lister, because I have not found a drape bust, nor have I found a coin, a US coin from the 1700s. And I can only make out the last two digits, but it's a nine and a seven, so it makes it 1797. So that was a stellar day. This is the Hoover Boys, and as always, we dig it all. That's how we find the good stuff. You can't detect all day if you don't start first thing in the morning. And we'll see you on the next dig. We're going to find the treasure. <laughs> I got a crazy awesome signal here. This is what I've been looking for all day. Mid 80s, consistent. And deep. Bottle cap. Alright, so I found that old ring there. 
Let's get another signal over here. And it's a bottle cap. A bottle cap. Yeah. Hunk of junk. $17.97. Mine. So, so happy. Mine. 